time, you guys. Yeah, Coach Zoe here, and this is going to be your total body tight and then tone workout. So we're gonna get in upper, lower core, and cardio. Let's get a nice, lean physique. Let's get started off with our warm up. We're gonna keep it pretty short and quick today. It'll just be 20 minutes of active work time in our workout, I should say. All right, so not including our warm up. But otherwise, this workout is going to be non impact. All right, of course, I'm gonna do a little bit up and down, so a little on the floor and a little bit standing. We're gonna alternate, so just adjust and modify as you need to for your body. I'll offer some suggestions along the way, but we're gonna keep it really simple today. Not doing a ton of crazy moves, right? Or a million different things, but a lot of work that's going to challenge you in different ways. So. Get excited, get pumped up. Good, all right, and let's take a wide stance here and just drop it side to side. Here's some lateral lunges. Open up those hips a little bit. Good, all right, bring those feet about hip width apart. Let's hinge and reach overhead, hinge and reach overhead. Kind of like you're skiing. Foot backwards. <laughs> Good. And reach those arms overhead. Maybe clasp the hands. Twist the palms to face the ceiling. Let's do some overhead squats just to activate the core a little bit. Pull that belly in. Good. All right, we're going to step forward with a lunge on each side. And then step back on each side. Forward. And back. Good. All right, from here, find the edge of your mat. We're going to walk it out to a plank. Give me shoulder taps on each side. Pulling that belly in nice and tight. Good. Let's reach up to the ceiling. And we'll tuck the knees into the chest, pulling that belly in. Good, let's lower down with the push-up. Use your knees if you need to. Press up with the down dog. One more time, push-up. And the down dog. All right, back onto your feet. Let's shake it out while I explain what's going on. You could do some speed skaters or just tap it out. So this workout is going to work. We have five full rounds. Okay, five full rounds of four different, I should say, exercise groups, okay? Um, really just one exercise, but I kind of chain a couple together. Otherwise, it's a minute of each work, of each exercises with no really built-in breaks, but I alternate them so it's like upper, lower, core. Let's get started. We have around the clock lunges, so you're gonna step forward, out to the side, and then back. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other leg, but back, out, and forward. So think, we're going to 12 o'clock, three o'clock, Six, six, nine, and 12. All right, so the reason that we're gonna be doing a lot of like compound exercises smooshed together is again, to keep that heart rate up, use a lot of muscle groups at once, so that way we're kind of smooshing some cardio in, sneaking it in while we're doing calisthenic strength work. Good, 15 seconds. Again, long work intervals with no real rest time, simply because you're not doing high intensity. Learn to catch and recover your breath as you work. We're gonna be on the floor next, right to it. So, two options. We have a, with one leg in the air, we could do down dog to a push up, and then switch. Or you could totally keep both feet on the ground at all times. So, glute and leg work with that single leg down dog. Upper body and core with that single leg push up. Again, regardless if you keep both feet on the ground or not, it's fine. You'll still get that same benefit. Just a little bit more of a challenging variation. And if you need to use your knees for the push up, by all means. Whew, 
10 seconds. We're gonna be back up on our feet again after this. All right, back on your feet. We have a single leg deadlift. Back leg steps over to the curtsy and alternate. So single leg deadlift, whoops. Step it over to the curtsy. So you can stagger and step. That's totally fine. Stagger and step or hinge with the balance. Okay, it's up to you what you would like to do. Got my hair in my mouth. Some days it's good to do the balancing version. You can also hold on to something if you really want to hinge but you're a little unsteady. And if you cannot do the curtsy, right, you could just do a reverse. All right, back on the ground on your belly. I'm gonna do Superman. Come up, 10 mountain climbers. Two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower down, lift, back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. So really just five each side. Get a big extension in the back for the Superman. If you don't want to count, you can just switch with me. Oops, keep going. I lost my mic. <laughs> the stinking cord. Stick into my body. All right, back on your feet back to the top so round one done right it moves pretty quick since we're not dilly dallying again around the clock lunges so if you want to lead if it bothers you to do them in separate orders you want to rotate and go back counterclockwise but it really does not matter You're doing the same amount of reps on each leg of each exercise of each direction I should say Again, that's 12, 3, 6, 6, 9, 12. Making your mind work a little bit. Good. All right. On the floor. This one to me is the toughest round. Yeah. So down dog, push up, reset. Down dog, push up. Again, if you're going to take that single leg option. It's a lot more challenging on the core. Make sure you're staying tight in the belly. So really pull your belly button in through the push-up. Almost there, you guys. <laughs> 15 seconds. Less than time. All right, back on your feet, right to it. So right away, single leg deadlift. To our curtsy. And again, I meant to say it a little sooner, sorry. But if you need to just step straight back, that's fine too. Okay. So stagger or hinge, and then a curtsy. And your curtsy doesn't have to be very deep, right? So you don't need to step over, right? A foot and a half away. Just a little bit across the center line is good. Watch your ankles. Like, like, 
five seconds left. So we're on the floor. All right, let's go Superman. It's a mountain climber, so big extension, everything up. Press it up, 10. Everything up, get a big pause at the top. That way you know you're engaging through all those back muscles. Halfway. We'll be back on our feet for round number three. back on your feet. Already around the clock lunges I told you. It's gonna move quick, right? Since we're only doing four moves, okay? And we're not taking rest time. You don't have really a lot of time to think about the fact that you're struggling. Do you see all this sweat? This is insane. Whew. I feel like I'm in a sauna. <laughs> we got 30 seconds. Whew. And even though, right, that one is a big breath catcher, so doing those mountain climbers, try not to slow down your lunges while you catch your breath. Keep that same pace. Let your body learn how to recover under pressure, right? Two, one, my favorite group. Let's go. Down dog to push up. Again, if you even need to take the single leg out of it, maybe you've been doing it, just need a few reps without. All right, that's fine. But just stay moving. I'd rather you modify a little bit and just keep that pace rather than to be taking a long break. Keep your elbows tight to the body. If you even need to do on the knee, you can still do single leg on the knee. Should have showed you that earlier, sorry. <laughs> All right, totally possible. All right, five seconds. On your feet, back to work, let's go. I'm just dripping everywhere. Single leg deadlift. Oops, to your curtsy. Single leg and curtsy. Again, that one gets my heart rate up because it's so challenging, right? Those push ups, it's a lot of push ups. And any push-up, if done correctly, is really going to be full body involvement because you have to be isometrically active, right, through your core and your lower half. So yeah, our arms are doing all that work, but you're not inactive everywhere else. So that one really gets your heart rate up. So again, same thing. Try not to slow down your reps here just so you can catch your breath. All right, exercise four, Superman, 10 mountain climbers. Big up, fast pace. And again, mountain climbers are pretty low to not impact. So if you just can't run it and you wanna just walk it, that's fine. You can even do all supermans. Keep going. Just sink the mic here. <laughs> all right, you got it, you guys. 10 seconds left. I apologize. 
technical difficulties here. All right, along, round the clock lunges. Let's get back up to those feet. So forward, out, and back. Back, out, forward. Again, if that's too weird, you just go forward, out, and back on both sides. All right, you guys, this is our fourth round. We have one more after this, and we are done. So, like I said, it moves pretty quick, doesn't it? You have to agree that it moves pretty quick. I feel like those workouts where you're resting a lot, even if it's high intensity, I kind of start to feel like, oh, I have another set, another set, another set, right? This one, five sets, not too much. You're moving out by the time you're struggling with the one that you're on. All right, on the floor. All right, down dog. It's a push up. Again, single leg or double. It's up to you. Move over a little bit here. There's so much sweat. I'm sliding. This one too is nice. It opens up your glutes a little bit and your hamstrings. For those lunges. And lower body moves. Back on your feet, single leg, to a curtsy. Ooh, I got a little dizzy there. Again, you can totally stagger, right? Stagger and step. Probably can move a little bit quicker, or you can even take out that curtsy and just do a regular reverse lunge. That's fine too. seconds. them orangutan down <laughs> I hate doing this it just feels lazy sloppy but man sometimes you have to you have to just let those arms rest Just four moves to get through. That's it. We're going to push up to down dog. 
I feel like every time I turn around, that move is up. <laughs> Let's go. Last time here. Don't wimp out on me. Single leg or double. Whatever you can do. If you're struggling, if you've been doing the single leg, keep doing it. Right, it's the last time of the day. Really try to push through it. It's all in your mind. Your body will do whatever you tell it to. Right, but it's your mind that's gonna make the decision. Try not to think about it. Just know in your head, your body will perform. It is strong enough. It has the endurance. It can do so much more than what you think you're capable of. In three, two, one, on your feet. Woo! All right. Two moves left. There's just two minutes left. Single leg and a curtsy. I'm losing my balance. I might have to go to stagger. <laughs> Remember, if you are staggering, all right, that back foot is strictly a kickstand. It's just for balance. It's not doing any of the work. Let's go, you guys. Last minute of work. Supermans to mountain climbers. seconds. Whew. What are you working for today? 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and a rest. Oh my goodness, you guys. Walk it out. Catch your breath. Shake out those arms and legs. Ah, very nice job. That one was a doozy. I told you we were gonna get it all in, and we did. Oh, let's do a little bit of side body stretch. If you like this workout, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if there's something else you wanna see, or if you like this format of no rest breaks, right? If you wanna see something else like this, okay, I'll do my best to make it happen. Whew. And subscribe, that way every time I post a new workout, you'll get notified and we can suffer together. We can stay strong, we can stay tough. I'm working out with you the whole time. I'm not slacking off. You can't slack off either. Whew. And of course, as always, if you need a longer warm up, a longer pull down, take the time to do that. Okay. I do have a 10 minute dynamic warm up and a 10 minute static stretch video on my YouTube channel. You just gotta look and find that. All right, but otherwise, you guys, that is it for today. So thank you so much for joining me. Till next time, stay strong, stay tough. <laughs>